think this will be? Two point four B. Why two point four? Uh, no, because equal displacement principle is based on similar displacements, right? The forces were off by six times. You hope the displacement, if equal displacement principle is true, the displacement should be similar. Okay, between nonlinear analysis and linear. It's not just analysis. You put it on a shaking table and you can generate the same behaviors either way. Okay, just play. So. Is it similar? What's the maximum displacement? It's about 0.3, right? We have uh, 0.294 feet. So it's actually a little bit less. But it's similar displacement. So based on that, that divided by 6 is reasonable. Okay? Because it was all derived based on the same displacement demand from an earthquake motion. If, if the, this displacement was much larger or much less, then that means that, the, that taking dividing by 6 is a big error. So, okay, let's remember this, uh, 0.298. Let's look, let's get rid of this, move this over now. Let's look at frame 26. That was, I don't remember what was frame 26. Maybe that's not the, yeah, that's the bottom of the first column. Moment. So, you see, it's going until um, 5,000, 5, and then it's, see how it's going almost flat? So rather than going above, it, it's, this is the moment versus time. And when it reaches 5,000, then it goes along, more, not exactly horizontally, but on a different slope, much uh, more, uh, much less steep than the initial steps. So uh, let's look at this uh, between, I don't know, four and eight seconds. Four to eight. See, it goes up. And then, so this time it's almost flat, and then when it unloads, it, it picks up its stiffness again. We'll look at the hysteretic plot in a minute. And then uh, in the other direction, minus 5,050. Uh, so it's, it's forming flat, a plastic hinge. Otherwise, it would continue up like that. If you look at the linear elastic plot, it goes up and then comes down. And it went all the way up before to uh, 20,000. So it's responding correctly, exactly. It's the one we asked for. Let's look at the other one. Frame, was it 29? But it wasn't 30, I don't remember. I gotta look. It's this one, the bottom of this one, 30. Um, it's wiggling, but same thing, whenever it hits 5,000. This one uh, doesn't hit it too much, right? Because before uh, we saw it was only a little bit over. But again, it's, it, when it exceeds, it doesn't exceed 5,000, it just does go. Now let's look at 29. That's at the top of the first column, right? So did we tell it to go nonlinear or not? It doesn't know, right? It doesn't know it that it can go nonlinear. So that means it has infinite strength. That's what the demand is. That's what it can do. So sure enough, uh, it doesn't know that there's a plateau of 5,000. It just goes right up and over. And it gets to uh, you know, over 9,000 kip feet. So we do need to put a plastic hinge in there. I don't know about the other ones. Um, Let's take a look at this one. So right now, it is a nonlinear analysis, but we're still not modeling the bridge correctly because we have, it's the same cross-section. We should have the same moment capacity at the, pretty much at the top and bottom. So uh, that's not the exact final picture. What we need to do is put a, a plastic hinge in at the top here. Let's take a quick look at this one. Uh, this is 33, and this is joint 28. So it's at the end, 33. So let's say display, show plot functions, or frames, 33, moment at the relative one distance. So that's at the top. Uh, I want to do the same thing for this guy, because all those pinned at the bottom, we never looked at the top, did we? So now if we check this, these are all the possible plastic hinges for this relatively simple bridge. Uh, let's see, it's 37, and it starts at 31. That's 31, okay, so it's 37.
this one. Let's bring in 33 first and look at it. Uh, it does not by much, but it goes a little bit plastic, right? We're going 6,000 up to 7,000 kit feet, and we the maximum is 5,000, and it forms a plastic edge. So that one, the top of the second column needs it. Thirty-seven is the top of the last column, the pin column, and that also that's actually getting nine thousand from the kit. Okay, so uh, let's throw plastic hinges in there. Where do we have plastic hinges so far? Where have we actually put them? This one and this one, right? How about these two? What? Can we put the plastic hinges in uh, at the top of all three of those at the same time? What do you think? Can we do this? Yeah. So it says there we have three frames we selected. So we should be able to say, oh, we have to unlock it first, right? You can't change the model until you throw it in the game. Okay. We say assign. top of the number, right? And so they have to say add, and say OK. OK, so you can see it's drawing it. So it looks good. We now have one, two, three, four, five plastic hinges. Will it take longer or less time to run? <laughs> longer. OK, is that everything? That's it, right? Let's run it. So in addition, uh, 